Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me. By way of introduction, my name is Rich Kinnear, and I am a customer success manager with Recruiting. Today, we will be walking through the Careers Hub, which is also known as the Career Site 2.0. Now, during this conversation, we'll discuss things such as what exactly is the Careers Hub, how to navigate to the Careers Hub from your recruiting environment, how to switch from version 1.0 to version 2.0, if it is applicable to you. After this, I'll provide a full demonstration of the key features within the Career Sub. And finally, I will show you how to preview the Career Sub and ultimately how to publish it so that candidates can go in and start applying to your organization. Now let's get started. First, to introduce the Career Sub properly, this will be your one-stop shop to easily build and customize your career site, display your employment branding, and also attract great candidates. Now the Career Sub is highly interactive and super easy to use as no coding or developers are needed to accomplish this. Now. To navigate to the Careers Hub, starting within Recruiting, all you have to do is direct your attention to the top right-hand corner where you see this Careers Hub icon. After giving this a click, you'll notice two different options here. First one being a link directly to your published career site, and then the next one being uh, the dashboard where you can customize the look and feel of your Careers Hub. And since this is where the presentation will be taking place, we'll go ahead and give this a click. Now to orient you to this page uh, very quickly, you'll see two tabs at the top. One being the Pages tab, where you can build out your essential pages and also any custom pages, as well as the Settings tab. We'll circle back to this in just a moment, but for folks are, who are still utilizing version 1.0, please note that it'll be the same process to get to your dashboard as we just walked through. But if I switch tabs here, you can see that we will notify you that your company is still utilizing version 1.0. Now you are able to still edit this by clicking this Edit button. Or if you'd like to get started working on version 2.0, all you have to do is scroll down and click on this green button here, and you can save your progress along the way. Now, for any reasons, if you do go ahead and publish the 2.0 version and need to revert back to 1.0, please note that you'll have 30 days to do so. If you have any other questions though, please feel free to contact our support team as we're always happy to help. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're gonna go back to our original tab here, and we are gonna start in the Pages tab to start customizing the essential and custom pages. Now, the essential pages will consist of your jobs homepage as well as your jobs um, detail page. As you can see by hovering over them, we do have the ability to edit or to open these pages. So we're going ahead and click edit. Now for each of these pages, it's important to really keep consistent with your company branding because this is what candidates will see as soon as they click on the careers link um, and on your website. Now, each page here you'll see will have different sections that you're able to edit and customize. We are also able to edit the theme up here, which we'll do in just a moment. Um, however, because this is just a kind of bland um, gray background and uh, for the join us section, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and click add section so that I can add more things to this uh, essential page. Um, now, once I go ahead and click add section, the section library will pop up. This is where you can have a lot of templated and out-of-the-box solutions um, to add to your career sub. You can see we've broken down a list of categories here to um, really help help clearly uh, add any uh, pieces of information to your essential pages. Um, and for this uh, start of it, I'm going to stay on the text page because this is where we have some great examples about joining the team. Uh, maybe we can include a button to view positions or how we hire. Um, and at the bottom here, we can see that we do have a video option as well. Uh, but if you have any employment videos or anything like that, please feel free to add them there um, so that it's consistent for your employer brand. Now, I like this uh, join our team section here, so I'm going to go ahead and click it. I like the background and also um, our little text box here. So this is one way that we can um, start with our career site right away. Now, we are able to edit this section and we can go in and uh, add any text here that we want. Maybe add an exclamation mark point here. We add a uh, you are a few clicks away at this point. Um, I'll come back to these different buttons uh, in just a bit here, but we are also able to, you know, align this text within this box in the left, right, or center. Um, we're also able to, you know, change the text container to either the full screen, maybe half the screen or a third of the screen. I think two thirds is appropriate here. We can align it left, right, or center as well. And then we can even add another header up here if there's some more text that we want to go ahead and do. Um, and then from there, we can edit where this box will um, land in uh, in regards to the header as well. Please note that you are able to update the color screen of this text as well, as well as the accent colors in the buttons. 
Now, since we added this section here, we do not need this section anymore. So we'll go ahead and click these three vertical dots and remove it. But maybe, you know, for a little bit more of a personalized experience um, for our uh, candidates, we would also want to put a message from our CEO to this section. So all you have to do is, again, hit add section and then find a nice um, picture of maybe uh, a quote from your CEO with a picture in it. So we can go ahead and do that here. You can see um, again that you can update this image if you'd like by editing the section, um, clicking on the image here and then replacing the image as well. And then I would also advise that we put alternate text, uh, text here. This will help with search engine optimization um, just in case these images cannot load. So it truly ends on CEO. Now, of course, you can um, update this text, update the font, the look, the feel of it, of course. Um, and we want to make sure that we're consistent. So we will change our company name here. Perfect. All right. Looking good so far. Um, now, maybe at the end of the page, we also want to put any per perks or uh, any kind of like benefits or anything like that as well. So if we can add a section here and we go to list, you can see that we do provide a list of perks um, for your review, maybe in a different format as well. I like this one. So we'll go ahead and add that to the bottom here. And we can see that our career site is moving along very nicely. And then maybe we also want to put in some um, gallery pictures as well, just to you know show our show off our company culture. So we can go ahead and hit um, another section, click on the gallery, and find a nice pictures to go ahead and showcase our company. Excellent. So our essential page here is looking good. Um, it's pretty quickly um, being able to build it out now. During this job section here, we are able to update it and also provide filters um, and, and group the different positions available uh, either by city or by department. So the way the way we could do that is hit this edit section button. Now we can, of course, you know, open uh, uh, this text box to really edit the text that's inside it. Uh, we could change it from these different cards to the table if, uh, if we see fit. Um, we can change the amount of columns as well, depending on how you want the look and feel of it to be. And then we can add any filters. So if we want to do it by country, by cities, maybe um, we can also align it on the left hand side so that the positions pop up on the right hand side. Um, we can group them together as well, maybe by city. And then finally, if we wanted to do maybe a department breakdown, we can do that as well. I think this looks the best for my career site. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Um, and of course, you are able to um, position it differently and also edit the text size here. All right. Now, if we want to go ahead and switch up the color scheme, we can do it uh, by clicking the colors and background here. Um, and we can also, you know, put a, a nice little background if we think that it will be helpful for these positions to pop. So why don't we go ahead and make it a nice little blue. That way it will pop out. Now, of course, if you do pick something that you don't like, you can always hit this X button, which will go back to the original button. All right. So this is looking pretty good so far. Um, we can go ahead and we can um, copy the link uh, or the public link for this section um, because I do have that button and uh, that we uh, discussed earlier. So if we go ahead and, and copy the link, scroll back up to the top of the page. We can edit this section here, click into this button, and then this is how we can go ahead and edit the link for that section. Now, as soon as we publish, anyone who clicks this open positions button will get directed to that um, section automatically. We'll circle back to the how we hire, how we hire uh, section here uh, because that could be a custom page that we build out later. So we'll circle back to that in just a moment. Now we've gone through sections. Um, we've gone through, you know, the different color schemes and, and things like that, that we could do. Uh, but up at the top, this is how we can start editing the theme of the page. Um, and there are two ways to do this. You can either click this edit theme uh, navigation button or to the right side, hand side bar here is where you can edit the theme as well. Now, of course, we can change any colors, like I said before, to uh, match our employment branding. Um, we could change any fonts here as well. So if we want to maybe change it to something a little bit more fun, we're absolutely able to do that. All right, we'll minimize this. 
And then we can start adding some navigation links. Um, so you can see here in the uh, top left hand corner, this is where our logo should be. So if we hit navigation, this is how we can go ahead and update that. We'll hit update logo, you can browse files, and then pick the appropriate image. As soon as that is complete, you'll see that this awesome um, logo is uh, updated at the top left hand corner. Now you're also able to add any links, any social links, any buttons as well. Um, typically what other folks do is these links will go to the different landing pages that we build out here in, in uh, the Careers Hub. Um, and you're also able to put these links down at the bottom of the page as well. Um, maybe we, for the button, we wanna go back to our company website. So let's start there. We can hit add. This is where you can provide a label for that button. And then this the link to the web address. Now, if you do have a position open that's similar to what your um, employee website will be like, just make sure that you always hit this web address so that uh, it gets redirected to the right area. So after we do that, we can see that this company website has been updated here. Maybe we want to also add in our socials. So Twitter would be a good one. Maybe our LinkedIn as well. Facebook page and then also now you are able to toggle this uh, uh, toggle on so that whenever somebody clicks these links they'll go to a new tab and um, the, the careers hub will stay open on the previous tab so this is what I would definitely suggest um, and you are able to go ahead and switch these around to order them how you see fit. All right, so after we hit done, you can see in the top right-hand corner, those are added, it looks great. Now we can start adding different links. Um, and for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and add the different custom uh, pages that I'm gonna add later. And then I'll show you how to link them back um, at, once we go ahead and create those pages. So maybe one of the links can be an About Us page. Another one could be how meet our team and then a third one could be our office locations all right so this is looking good we have our links at the top here we have our button to go back to our company website and we have our socials um now because this is a image here um it looks like the top theme is kind of getting um bleeded into there so what we can do is we can actually customize this and then we can uh update these colors to how we see fit. So maybe we want to actually switch this to a black background so it really pops and have white text here so that folks can see and um, they'll know where to click right away. Now that's the top section of the navigation, but we are also able to add a footer as well. So if we scroll all the way down here, you can see that the footer is displayed, but we can um, uh, untoggle it so that it, it does not show. And then we could update this again for our logo. So why don't we go ahead and do that? And then maybe we want to also put the same links at the bottom here. So again, uh, us, the team, and finally, our office. And then maybe it's a good idea to keep our socials here. So uh, Twitter. Uh, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, and finally, Instagram. All right, so you can see our bottom here is, our footer is looking good. Um, we can always adjust the footer size if we want. Um, we can update the links and the colors again. Maybe we want to have the same um, kind of color scheme as before. So why don't we switch this to black and then we'll switch this to white. That way it's consistent. We can have the different colors here, different sizes as well. And then at the bottom, finally, we are able to remove this recruiting branding by toggling this switch. Now, once we're ready for this, we can hit update. And now this will be the theme of our um, career sub kind of moving forward. Now, if you are happy with your progress, you can always save it here. 
you can also preview the saved uh, progress here uh, by clicking this little box with the arrow going out and clicking the second option, which is preview last save. So we'll go ahead and look at, give that a look. All right, it's starting to look great here. And then finally, um, if you are curious to see how this would look on a mobile device, you can also click this mobile preview option here. And then this way you can scroll down to see exactly what folks would see on their phone. Perfect. So I'm happy with this so far. So um, I'm going to actually X out of it. And you can see it has been updated to the left. Now to the right where the job details page lives, um, of course, you can go ahead and edit. You'll see the theme is the same at the top here. Um, we're able to edit this section, maybe uh, uh, create a different back line. But this header here, we can adjust it to left, right or center, however we see fit. Um, section background, we can change the uh, image here if there's something a little bit more in line with your employment branding. We can change the color scheme as well if we want, or even add a video. Right, done here. And then down here, this is where you can really edit the um, job description page. We, of course, we can edit section here. We can switch around the colors if we want. So um, maybe we want the color scheme to pop, a nice little blue. So you see the job description is updated. Um, any accent colors as well. Maybe we'll change this to the same bluish color. So that you see the apply button has changed to a nice little blue. Okay. All right, so if we're happy with this, we can keep it, or we can, again, put in an image, put in a video for the background color as well. Um, this might be a little much to go red, but just to show you how it look, could look, you could really have it pop there if you want. Um, Actually, it's a good place to show you that if you are not happy with the color, you can always hit this little X button and it'll go back to the original um, white background. All right, so if we're happy with this, we can hit done, we'll hit save for our progress, and we'll go out of it. Now that we're happy with our essential pages here, start time to uh, building out the different custom pages. So to do that, we'll scroll down here, and this is how we'll create new custom pages. So that first custom page is our About Us page which we'll go ahead and we'll start creating. As you can see, this is a blank canvas so far. So this is where the section library really can come in handy um, and to start filling out, you know, the different things here um, that, uh, that we need to uh, add into the section. So first and foremost, maybe we want to do a nice big picture with another quote from our CEO. That way, you know, uh, it's a little bit more personable here. Um, maybe we want to add in a section about who we are as well. Um, which we can do uh, by editing this text here. So let's edit this Go here. Who we are. Excellent. Get a little bit more information about us. Of course, we would always want to put in our, um, our, you know, our mission statement, our values, and the things like that as well. So if we go to the image, uh, we'll go here to our mission statement. We'll then add in. Maybe our values. And then maybe it would be great to add in diversity and inclusion for us as well. Perfect. Now, maybe it's a good idea for this section that we also add in our customers um, too, since it is, you know, who we are about. So if we go to, I believe, a list, images. Uh, it's in the gallery here, so we'll put in our clients. Here. Perfect. All right, so this is looking good so far. We can hit save to save our progress. Let's take a look and see how it is viewing. And you see a lot of great information is there. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now, um, because we want to link this back up to our About Us uh, page here, I'm going to go ahead and publish it because it does need to be published for the links to work for it. Um, so after this has go gone ahead and published, what we could do is we can edit the theme again. We can go to our navigation, go to our links, and edit this About Us page to have it map back to the right link. And then just make sure that you do it to the footer as well so that folks can click it down there. All right, perfect. All right, so this should be good. We published it. Um, we've previewed it. 
and now we're able to continue on here as well we'll x that out we'll scroll down and we'll start another page here maybe a nice page on how we hire would be a, very helpful for our candidates so we'll go ahead and do that all right so we add in a section here you can see a, if we go to the list section um, we have a nice step-by-step -step instructions on how we hire which is excellent uh, but maybe before we get into that we want to uh, add a nice little um, image of you know folks collaborating folks working together um, maybe this nice little sock picture of um, our connections and you know our company culture um, so we can also edit this as well and rearrange it so that the pictures are side by side together here which i think will look a little bit nicer and then we're able to update any of the color schemes as well as we see fit so now we have a how how we hire as well and then maybe we want to add some good to knows here um, as well just so that we uh, cover all of our bases for our potential candidates so we'll have a good to know here as well and then another good to know here i like to uh, most folks like to have this section as a, you know, um, uh, frequently asked questions section or anything like that, uh, because it does give more insight into your hiring process, which candidates do appreciate. All right. So I'm liking this look at this. Well, let's save. I'm going to go ahead and preview it before we publish it. And it looks very good here. All right. So we're happy with it. Again, we can, of course, change the color scheme if we want to keep doing that. Um, but we'll go ahead and publish this for now. Um, again, we can test the look at how it looks on uh, a mobile to see if there's anything else that we should do here. Now, because we had that um, link, the button in our essential page about how we hire, we can go in there and we can update this now. So if we want to edit this section, double click into here, click the little pencil icon. You can go to um, the web address here and click on the how we hire section. So we'll save it, we'll hit done, we'll hit save to the right here, and then we'll publish this as well. Perfect. All right, there are a few more pages we, we could build out here, um, which I'd love to walk you through. So one being, you know, meet our team. We'll hit create. And then of course, the empty canvas again. So what we're go, gonna do is hit um, add section here. Um, we're gonna go down to the images and then um, this is a great way where we can um, really showcase our team here and um, who exactly this potential candidate will be looking, um, will we'll be working with. Just give me one moment to find the appropriate, um, ah, here we go, meet our colleagues. So this is where you can showcase them right off the bat here. Um, and then we can add more picks here just so that you can hike, showcase the company culture. And then put any other videos or anything that we see fit here as well. Now, I don't have any videos ready for you all, but you know, if we want to put in a video of folks playing ping pong, folks hanging out or anything, we can absolutely do that. So we'll save this page here, we'll publish it. And then that way we can go to the theme, go to the navigation bar, and update the links as well. Meet our team, done. And then to the footer, edit, meet our team, and done. perfect. So we'll go ahead and publish this again. Um, we can test it on mobile just to see how it looks. Excellent here, perfect. And we'll go back to the editor. All right, one last page that we're gonna build out together here, which is our office locations. Uh, here um, is where you can really showcase it. Um, for this purpose of this uh, walkthrough, I have picked Los Angeles, New York, and Chicago. Um, and we're able to list out all our office locations here. So maybe this nice little our offices uh, section, which we'll go ahead and edit. And by clicking the little pencil icon in either one of the pictures here, well, we can go ahead and start updating it. Now, because we already have a New York one, maybe we wanna replace this image with our um, LA office. So we'll go ahead and do that. Nice picture of Los Angeles, name it accordingly. 
and then put in the correct address here so folks know where the office is located. Now you're also able to show a button to go directly to a job that um, would be showcased in this city. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And the URL for that would be the recruiter, which is on the bottom. Now we're gonna go ahead and update this for Amsterdam as well. And place this with our Chicago location. Title will be Chicago. Go ahead and put in our address for Chicago. Show button, and we'll link this to our account executive job. And then finally, New York, which we'll go ahead and we'll update the address. Show button, and we'll map this to our customer success page. All right, so our office locations have been updated. You can see that the pictures will be updated automatically. You can change it if you have more locations, the two, two per row, three per row, four per row, if you'd like. Um, of course, you're able to uh, update the lower uh, alignment as well. If you see fit, you can uh, have the different list items here. If you'd like, you have a different fill of it as well. Um, I like the up down here. And then, of course, you can center the content or make it to the right or to the left. Now we can also add in uh, different interactive maps here to this section. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Maybe click this location button so we can give a little um, description to the right here, but we'll go ahead and edit this section, edit map locations. Instead of Amsterdam, we'll put New York City. And then our NYC office. Add for Chicago. Yes. Yes. And finally, Los Angeles, California. That'll be Los Angeles inscription. Once you're happy with this, hit done, and you can see the map will get updated to the left-hand side here. All right, so we'll hit done here. We'll go ahead and save this. We're going to preview it very quickly just to see how it looks. Our offices look great. Here's the map, which we can go ahead and scroll in and out if we'd like. All right, it's looking great. So we're going to go ahead and publish this. We can preview it on our mobile device, and then we can update our theme so that the navigation of these links go to the correct location. Again, just do it in the footer as well. All right, so it is updated. We'll go ahead and publish it again. And now we have a pretty decent looking um, career site here. So from here, you can always go in, hit edit, um, and then we can go ahead and preview the last published site just to see how it looks, how it feels. Click this open positions button. It'll go right down to the open positions tab here. Maybe click our meet our team um, section. You can see that will navigate us right on over to that. Our office locations, excellent and about us. But if we want to get back to everything, we can go back to the company website <clears throat> or the career, the career sub. And then the company website as well should go to recruiting. Excellent. So this is looking good. Our published site looks fantastic here, um, but there are still some things that we are able to do. Now, if we go to the settings option here, um, you can see that we are able to update uh, our um, URL for the career sub. And to do that, we can go ahead and hit edit settings. Now, by going into the settings part of it, um, you're able to update the URL. To update that, I'll just go, go into recruiting here, find the career site under the company settings, and then this is how you can update your domain. 
please read the instructions, reach out to your internal team if you have any questions, or please feel free to contact our support team as well, if that would be helpful for you. Now, we are also able to update the favicon here. Um, and for folks who do not know what the favicon is, there's this little image on the left uh, hand side here. So all we have to do is upload this image again. Maybe we we'll want to go ahead and use that same logo to keep it consistent, which will help with search engine option optimization, which is perfect there. Then we can go on to social sharing here. We can, of course, replace this image if we want. Um, but this is a pretty good uh, example of, you know, uh, how to catch somebody's eyes and, and things like this. So we'll keep that there. Um, legal agreements. So this is for your application form. If you need a checkbox for anything or anything like that, you can add these to your application form um, so that folks will go ahead and have to check these off before they can apply. Um, our cookies and our integrations are in beta here. If you'd like to know more about it, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, but you know, you will be notified as soon as they are absolutely out there. And then cu custom codes as well. So if you want to do any custom um, coding, if, if you have the know-how or if you, you know see fit, please feel free to do so here. And then languages. So if you do need to have a uh, multi-language in incorporated into your career sub, all you have to do is hit at, um, hit this button, which will redirect you back into recruiting. And then you can put in which uh, language you would like to also add here. So this setting has been saved. So if we go back, you can see that France will be added here. Now you're not done yet with this because you do need to go into each page and actually translate each page um, to make sure that is uh, shown appropriately. However, before we do that, I do want to go back into our uh, essential page here, um, because if we have this uh, uh, multi language um, available here, we are able to show the languages on this site here, which will pop up to the left here. So we can do that again in the header and also, also the footer as well. Um, so show languages. So we can scroll down here. You see show languages will be on the bottom right hand corner here. So we'll hit update. Again, we'll publish it. And then um, for any of these sections here, uh, if you go ahead and hit edit section, um, you can see that you know it is not uh, changed to France automatically. So you will have to go in and enter this text um, and uh, update the language accordingly. Um, this goes for each page as well. So we'll go ahead and save. We'll hit publish again so that everything is published. And then if we scroll down to a page, let's say our um, about us page here, um, you can see this little gear icon to the left hand corner. This is where you can go ahead and get some um, general information if you want your URL slug, um, if you want the public link as well. Um, SEO, this is where you can create that engine friendly meta uh, title to really help um, uh, keep everything consistent. Again, you can do one in English, one in French. Um, social sharing should be updated since we already updated everything um, uh, in the settings tab. And then of course the, the language is here as well um, is how you can update this too. All right, so everything looks good. Everything looks safe and we are published and good to go. So we'll go ahead and X out of here. Go back into recruiting, click on the career sub, go to career site. And you can see our newly developed career sub is ready to go. Um, if we scroll up, we can see all the open positions by just clicking on this button. Scroll up again, we can go to our how we hire page here which looks great. And then all of our other links work as well. So we want to meet our team, our office locations, everything looks great. Now, when folks go ahead and apply, they'll be directed right into recruiting um, for you to keep uh, in your normal process and, um, and uh, you know, evaluate them accordingly. However, I hope this session was helpful. We are looking forward to seeing all the different uh, career hubs out there. So please feel free to share any feedback or share your progress with it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team as we're always happy to help. Otherwise, thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope this was a helpful session and uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you so much.